So the time has finally come to uh, have a look at that um, Vader battery, the 300 amp hour uh, lithium battery that Vader sent me. I'm going to take it out from under the bench here where I, where I store it. Um, the cables run down to the battery under the couch here from my solar settle. And yeah, we'll take a look at it. We'll go over some specs and stuff, and I'll let you know how it's been uh, how it's been performing. But first, uh, I'll get Lukey out of the way, get this mattress and stuff taken off, and uh, we'll get the battery set up up top so we can get a good look at it. not light by any means. I think it's uh, about 60 pounds. So I just keep it in the foam obviously just for a little extra protection on the floor you know. This is what it came shipped in and also a piece on top obviously. But uh, we'll just wait for everything to boot back up. And uh, we'll have a look at the app and stuff. So yeah, guys, here it is. Vader's um, 300 amp, 12 volt uh, life pole battery, lithium battery. Um, it's a little overkill for what I have running here right now. Right now I only have um, the Starlink, a security camera, and of course I, I run a few LED lights in the nighttime. And I charge some stuff, you know, like my phone phone and some camera batteries, stuff like that. So it's a little overkill right now, but this is going to be awesome when I get a, a refrigerator. I want to get a mini fridge or something here. And if I get uh, a little smart TV or something for watching YouTube or whatever, you know, this is going to be amazing. So right now, all I have charging this is uh, 300 watts of solar. And uh, the days are starting to get longer, but they're still pretty short. So the 300 watt, um, for what I'm running, it uh, charges this battery no problem. But if I was uh, running more stuff, this battery would probably discharge faster than it would charge. So my goal is to have uh, another maybe three more solar panels, 100 watt solar panels, or five more solar panels. I'd like to have 800 watts of solar, that would give me plenty, you know. But right now all I have is 300, and for what I'm running, um, you know, it's charging this battery, and this battery is uh, keeping up with everything, you know, obviously. So we'll just go over, um, what are you on? Come on. So we'll just go over a few specs for the battery. Um, it's... Uh, I wrote down some important stuff here I thought was important stuff, but yeah, so 300 amp hours capacity, 3,840 watt hours of energy, and 2,560 watt max load power. Um, so it has a self-heating function, which is awesome, which means that when the battery gets cold, like some batteries, they won't charge if they're cold, right? But this one... This one automatically starts warming itself up when it gets down to a certain temperature. And that is very important, especially for me, because I'm not here 100% of the time. Like, I have a daughter that's in a lot of sports. <clears throat> so, I go, I go away for the weekends sometimes with my daughter. When I come back, this battery is charged 100%. Because it heats itself up, right? It gets down, like, we've, the last couple weeks it's been really cold. Uh, in the minus 20s with the wind chill, you know, and, and that's Celsius. We don't normally get that kind of cold around here, but it does happen sometimes. And this battery heats itself up to a temperature where it can take the charge from the solar, which is awesome. So, like, if I left on a Friday, let's say I leave on a Friday, this battery is at, I don't know, 20%. I don't have to worry about coming back to the cabin on Sunday evening or Monday with a dead battery, you know what I mean? This thing is going to charge up despite being freezing cold outside, you know? Also this battery has uh, 5,000 or more 
5,000 plus life cycles. Right now it's on like third or fourth cycle since I've had it. So like this battery will outlast me, I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean? Um, so for example, this one has 5,000 plus life cycles. A lead acid battery will have anywhere from three to 500 cycles. So these batteries are more expensive than lead acid obviously, but they will outlast the lead acid. Not only that, you can discharge this battery 100%, right? You can run it right down where, where a lead acid battery, you, can, you should only discharge 50%. My favorite thing about this battery is the, is the app. So I have a, Vader has an app for this battery, well for all their batteries I assume. And there's actually a couple of apps you can download here, but I have the Vader one. They give you, in the manual, they'll tell you how to find the app and stuff to download. And it's very easy, I download it and I connect it like immediately. So this will tell you your discharge rate your how much power is coming in how much power is going out all that stuff obviously it'll tell you like my, like it's state of charge right now is 100 percent and it will even tell you um the remaining capacity like how many amp hours you have left and stuff like that but yeah it's pretty cool to uh just come to the cabin and tell you your um temperature of your battery you know once it starts heating up it tells you what the temperature is Four cells in, in the battery, it tells you, uh, you know, how many volts is in each cell and all this stuff. It's a pretty sweet app, but I, I do wish they had um, more of an explanation in the, in the owner's manual how, how the app works and how all these, what all these symbols mean and stuff like that. Because if you're really new at this stuff, which I, I am pretty much, you know, I don't know a whole lot about it. Like, I learned everything from YouTube pretty much, but... Um, yeah, if you don't you don't really know what's going on, what all these symbols and stuff mean, uh, it would be nice to have like a legend in the manual, right? Just to uh, explain each uh, each number, each function, each uh, symbol, you know. So one thing I almost forgot to mention was uh, Vader has a five year warranty on all their batteries, and of course they have twenty four hour customer service, and also, if you order one of these, you don't have to worry about shipping. It's free shipping on uh, their batteries, which, uh, you know, takes, a, takes a, a bit off the price, you know, because if you had to pay for shipping for these batteries, it would be quite expensive, you know. So you don't have to worry about that. It's free shipping. Um, there's a bunch more videos on YouTube about these, uh, these batteries, Vader batteries, different sizes and stuff like that. Uh, I have a YouTube buddy, Sean in Alaska. He's got two of these batteries, and he does a he does a good video on his two batteries. Um, he runs a pretty big cabin on on his two batteries. So if you want to check his video out, I'll link it in the description or in the pinned comment or something, and you guys can check check that out. He charges his batteries with a generator, and then of course he just runs everything off the batteries until they get low and then he recharges them with the generator again which is uh, also a good idea you know so yeah the uh, I'll put a link in the description to the to the website and stuff and to this battery and that and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about these if you have one or not let me know you know if you like it or whatever and uh, yeah shout out to Vader for for uh, sending me this battery to try out and uh, you know it's gonna I'm gonna put it to use here that's for sure so yeah guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.